Good morning, Vietnam. Today, guys, we are going to be washing Earth. Now, for those of you who don't know who Earth is, Earth is my 2013 Subaru STI. I'm uh, pretty sure if you guys have already seen it, but that is its full legal government name here in, in the state of USA. Here you go, people. A little formal introduction of Earth, my 13 STI. Now, I know it may look clean, but uh, trust me, far from it. Look at that. That looks super clean. Those are performance leaves. Makes you look a lot faster when you're driving, when it's blowing off. Now that you guys know what we are washing, I'm going to show you how we are going to wash it. Now these are the steps that I took uh, whenever I washed my car. Uh, <laughs> obviously, it's vinyl wrapped, so you know, you don't have to be as cautious. But let's just negate the fact that it's vinyl wrapped. I'm gonna pretend like that's OEM paint, and I'm gonna wash it the same way as I did before it was wrapped, because I know it's kinda, it's completely different. Today is actually a pretty nice day to wash your car, apart from us having direct sunlight on the area in which we are going to be washing in. That's not really a good thing, especially if you have a dark colored car, because the, paint, the water is just gonna dry up super fast and leave a bunch of water spots on your car and then you have to rinse and repeat. All right, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pull Earth out into the area we're going to be washing, and then I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown on all the supplies that I use whenever I'm washing the car. and just show you the other the other cleaners that I use uh, every now and then so let's go over the main essentials here some of these obviously I haven't used uh, too much Brio's garage best in detail I don't use that that much every now and then uh, but I'm gonna show you what I do use most of the time obviously let's start over here with a pressure washer this is a necessity guys you can pick up a cheap electric uh, pressure washer for like 200 bucks maybe even cheaper uh, but it really does make the difference in uh, in washing your car guys so consider it it's a good investment especially if you love your car all right let's start with the exterior stuff here mother's wheel and tire cleaner very good foam action i love it one of my favorites actually nearly empty that's how much i use it this not so much uh tire wet black magic every now and then give it that quick shine bug and tar remover very important uh, especially on the front end of your car where all that stuff gets collected on a daily basis really does make a difference uh, best of show detailer like I said don't use this too much partly because my car uh, is uh, vinyl so I'll use this on maybe my truck or a friend's car if we're washing somebody's car with you know actual paint foam cannon now I got picked this up on Amazon uh, probably for $15 it's got the little quick connect nozzle and uh, it is adjustable so you can adjust how much water and soap mixture goes through and as well as the uh, diameter I'll show you guys when I'm using it very good good investment moving on over here interior cleaner pretty self-explanatory more inter interior detailer obviously you need that stuff glass cleaner very good 
And then this one, this is good. This is really good, guys. Heavy duty wheel cleaner by Griot's Garage. Obviously, I use it a lot. Gotta pick some up. Very good. Obviously, you can tell I have a lot of wheel cleaners, but can never have enough. Your standard armor all, your interior. Some good old chemical guys, citrus washing gloss. Now this is the mixture I use. This and water on the foam cannon does wonders. Here we go, the Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash Shampoo and Conditioner. This is what I use for my buckets. And then a very nice plush, fluffy, fluffy uh, wash mitt, microfibers. Can't ever have enough. And then obviously we have some drying towels. Oh no! We got some drying towels and uh, some microfibers to reach those spots. And of course, our buckets, guys. These are the heart of a wash. Two for the mitts, you know, the rinse and the two bucket thingy, and then one for wheels. Now, if it were up to me, I'd use five buckets, you know, the five bucket method, one bucket for each panel for the ultimate clean shine. So obviously, some of that stuff I don't have to use uh, because I really can't, like the uh, best in class detailer or, you know, some of the other quick detailer stuff because, well, I don't have any paint. My car is vinyl wrap, guys, like I said. So really, for me, all I have to do is just shampoo, wash, and soak the car down. Don't really have to worry about, you know, washing, using the washing mitt in a certain direction, or, you know, worrying about scratching the paint because there is no paint. And uh, <laughs> that's the beauty of vinyl wrap, really. Not gonna waste any more time, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the pressure washer, get that ready, uh, and uh, pretty much do your first basic step in a wash, and that is basically rinse the entire car down uh, with the pressure washer or your um, garden hose, whatever you have. Uh, just make sure the entire car is completely wet. Uh, and remember, if you are working in the sun, like we are, you gotta be pretty quick with it, guys, because the water will dry up very quickly, especially on dark colored cars, and then you're gonna have to do the whole process again until it comes off. Alrighty, ladies. Let's go ahead and turn the sucker on. Hopefully it doesn't backfire or pop like it normally does. Live!
Just did the uh, bottom half of the car, front bumper, bottom half of this side, bottom half of the other side, and rear bumper. Obviously, you start from top to bottom, bottom being the dirtiest bits. That's why you save the bottom for last. And then, now that I got everything soaked up, so man, gonna rinse it. Okay, let's hope for some backfire here. guys before I dry her I just really want to do my favorite part and that is turning her on because that somehow makes it even louder so you'll see what I'm talking about I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the dr in the garage to dry it because leaves are uh, leaves are starting to fall on it. Can you tell that I drove it pretty softly? Well, guys, after after a wash like that, you you can't just let it sit in the garage or in your driveway, guys. You guys you gotta take it out on the street. All that hard work, people gotta see it. Before my battery dies, I just want to say, guys, that's. There really is no technique to washing a car. Uh, I'm, there is, uh, but there's no science to it, really. There is if you if you do the whole ratios with all the chemical stuff and mixing. All right, guys. I know there really is no method to washing the car, uh, kind of, but you know, very generic and basic technique. Um, everybody has their own way. There are many ways to skin a cat. That's just one of the ways I do it, and. I think the results speak for themselves. Obviously, I didn't get a chance to do the inside because I have family coming over, so I really can't can't focus on that right now. Might do it a different day. But the exterior looks beautiful, very beautiful. And uh, I hope you guys learned a little bit on the on the products that I use, the techniques that I use, all that stuff. Um, car came out fabulous. My carbon fiber trunk finally looks like carbon fiber. And just the rest of the car looks beautiful. It is gorgeous. Wheels are gold again. And as for the future of this car, I don't know. But it's going to get bigger and it's going to get better. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe all at the same time. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one, guys. Peace. Take care.